Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries for the month of April 2022. Um, it is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I am reading for April, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. It's when you're drawn to the video that you are meant to hear its message. Okay, so... <clears throat> I feel like you are, um, I feel like you're struggling with something and mm, whatever this is makes you feel very restless. I feel like you've, uh, this has been going on for some time. It's like you're going in circles. Um, it could be that you're, uh, you're very restless. You want it to stop or want it to end. Um, you're trying to understand something. You're looking for answers. Um, maybe when will it end or how will it end or what should I do? Um, how could I change this? Um, it could be many things. Um, but there's definitely a lot of insecurity here. And it seems like um, it seems like you expect a specific outcome to this and maybe this is what you're trying to think of. Maybe how could I change that? Yeah. Because there's a certain expectation uh, about the future. And uh, also with the hanged man, possibly... Uh, what um, what the sacrifice would be. I mean, you may you may be in a relationship that's struggling, and you you may uh, feel uh, that maybe maybe uh, the cost. It, it, the cost is um, very painful uh, or that at that to stay in it any longer uh, could be, you know, uh, painful or to, um, it's possible that you, uh, I feel like there's, there's an, this person that you're dealing with. I feel like, uh, I feel like you're trying to, or that they're trying to uh, keep you with them, possibly. But I feel like they could possibly also be toxic. And I'm not sure uh, if it was not always that way, or if you just didn't always see it that way. But there's a, a certain emotional attachment also here. Um, let's have a look here. Yeah, see, you're in a, you're going through a heartbreaking situation here that, and, and you want to leave it behind. This is why uh, this restlessness, this is what this struggle is. There's probably a lot of arguing and fighting going on here. I feel like you want to go back to uh, when times were easier, better. But it's almost like that is like a false sense of security because you're hoping that you, you'll get this back. So it's like you go silently through the motions uh of your current, of the current energy that you're in. It's like um, maybe hoping it'll go away or hoping it'll change or hoping they will uh, will see or see things differently. Hoping that they will come back to you. But it's almost like, it's almost like this person has falsely led you on. 
I have him saying it's like uh, it's like he's uh, he's a player, and you know maybe he maybe he's hidden things from you all the way. He says all the right things. And I feel like he's saying all the right things now. But um, there's a lot of information that he's been keeping from you. That he hasn't come clean about. That he's been keeping in that trunk. And you know what? There could be family secrets here also. Yeah. Or this could go back to family. Um, or the way this person was raised, maybe. Or how they were raised. Or what the experiences they had. Uh, shaped them. Or there's, there's, there's some type of secrets or information that they have in the trunk. But and I don't think they're going to share it all with you either. And maybe some of this information is maybe what you are seeing and feeling because you are or will be is just a glimpse of what, what's in that trunk. And, and this could be emotional baggage. This person carries from life experiences that they've had. I feel like they're going to tell you what you want to hear. So for whatever they've done that you know about, they'll come clean for. And they may manipulate some things. They may cover some things. This relationship, I feel, has been struggling for some time. And there's an attempt here to try uh, to heal it or to want to heal it. You will be looking back at, you're looking at the new offer, but you're also looking back at the struggle. You're also looking into uh, this cup um, at what you could uh, possibly lose or even what you've lost. Because at one time, there were good memories here. But I feel like right from the beginning with this person, there were things that you didn't know about. This person is once again trying to get away with something. So you need to be careful. But you need to take a deeper look. You see, they're going to overlook something. You see how they got the, that information and are holding it to them and they're looking back over their shoulder to see if they'll get caught, you know. But you see how they're about to step in that noose. It's almost like they hang themselves. So that means there's something that could come out that they might let out without thinking. Maybe they'll say something without thinking or leave something laying around without thinking. Um, but there's something that they will do that will kind of clue you in to the fact that things are not what they appear to be and that this person is trying to get away with something or take advantage of you or is not being honest with you in some way. And, and maybe this has happened here that leads up to this meeting because there's a meeting here and there's an argument. And maybe it's something that comes out in that argument because it doesn't end well. <clears throat> it doesn't end well. Somebody goes to the extreme here. Uh, so, yeah, somebody goes to the, to the extreme 
possibly to prove a point? This meeting um, ends badly. <clears throat> Excuse me, it ends badly. I feel it starts well, but ends bad. And it ends with you being frustrated and feeling like, almost like they've, they're deliberately pushing you out, you know, which doesn't even make sense at all. But I don't think this person makes sense. It's what I'm getting. They're saying, yeah, see, <clears throat> listen, if you've got any intuitive nudges, you need to follow up on them. This card alone is a very good card. Okay, the heart. It's about love and relationships, feelings, emotions. Um, and it is about faithfulness if it's near positive cards, but it's not. The swans can indicate something that is deep and lasting. And maybe this is what's bothering you. Maybe you think it's not going to last because it's coming with the mice. There's something about this uh, person, what they're telling you, um, that is eating at you. Now, we also have the bridge, which can be reconciliations and new opportunities, you see. But in between the, the heart and the bridge, we have the mice and the mask. So there's a deception going on. This is what you feel, that there is a deception going on. And it feels like nothing ever gets solved here. It feels like it just keeps turning in circles, this relationship. And you're unhappy. You're unhappy. And, and I mean, you have a decision to make about this relationship that uh, the other person um, either is not putting effort or uh, there's something about this that you're not seeing. You're overlooking some details here, possibly. It could be that somebody is covering up information. So I feel like there's a decision that you need to make. You could be, maybe, you know, you went into this meeting to get more information and maybe you didn't get it. So you could be sitting here having to uh, try to make a decision with the information that you have. But maybe you're missing details. Maybe you feel you don't have enough details. It's almost like you keep uh, putting this decision off and keep putting, putting it off. And maybe it's because you're afraid. Maybe it's because you're afraid. Um, maybe you're afraid to know the truth because of this card, wanting to go back to the way things were. Um, maybe you are afraid it's over. Maybe you are afraid of what, what, what's next. The way ahead is really, it's, it's unclear. That's what these cards are saying. And you're confused about your choices. Somebody is wearing a mask in this relationship. And um, something feels wrong, you see. She's got a feeling here. This is the justice card. The scales are out of balance. And she's got a feeling that somebody here has done something. Somebody's up to no good and she's going to find out who did it. Somebody is hiding something. And we see that here also. So the way ahead is unclear. We have the moon uh, appearing uh, right here. And we also have it here on our two of wands. So um, indecisive, not knowing uh, what to do um, because you can't see the road ahead. Well, what you're going to have to do, because you do have the high, the high priestess there and here, um, you're going to have to uh, 
follow your intuition. You're going to have to follow up on those nudge, uh, those intuitive nudges because right now you are uh, in that knowing silence where something feels off. Okay. And, and you, uh, you need to follow up on those intuitive nudges because they'll lead you to the truth. Even if that truth is, is, is something you don't want to hear or see. And maybe that's why you're procrastinating, you know, maybe that's why. So we have the high priestess here. Um, and, and she is about, you know, uh, not talking. Um, she may have a premonition, possibly a sense of foreboding. Um, playing her cards close to her chest. This card asks you to pay attention to your dreams and to, of course, like I said previously, um, follow up on those intuitive nudge, uh, hunches, nudges, keep track of them. Because this person is very clever and you're going to need to look for the thread of truth in those places through the intuition and in your dreams. And it also asks you to be discerning in all that you do at this time because all is not as it seems. You also have the fear marker and it asks you to identify how your fear may be affecting you on this part of the journey. What are you afraid of? And is your fear really valid? I'm sorry, uh, my dogs are snoring. I don't know if you can, if the mic is picking it up or not. So yeah, um, identify how your fear is affecting you on this part of the journey. What are you afraid of? And is it really a valid fear? Truth. So truth in word and deed is what is required of you by drawing this marker, okay? Uh, as well as resonating with your own personal truth it's now important to demand the same from others. And it asks you to remember that even a white lie causes your light to fade and to lose its power. So this marker reminds you to remain in the light, even if it seems the more difficult path. So follow those intuitive nudges. Um, it will lead you to the truth so that you can make this decision. Because you're not happy here. There's something here you, I feel you don't want to see, but that perhaps you need to see. And it's like, um, it's reminding me of a, of a card from, from another deck. It's like a, an action that you don't really want to take, but in doing it, it is rewarding. You, you, you won't see that or you don't see it now because now you're too much into the emotion, but you will see, you will see it, um, later on. So, uh, oh, <laughs> anyway, so that is what I have for you. And I thank you for watching, for liking and for sharing my videos. Sorry about my dog in the background there. Um, and uh, for subscribing. Many blessings.